What's up, everybody? It's Rick, and welcome to Don't Starve Together, a game that those of you who've watched our stump stuff on YouTube probably know we played this before, and you may be wondering, Rick, why are you playing Don't Starve Together alone? You guys have been playing it together. Well, a lot of people have been saying we don't know how to play the game, and you know what? To their credit, we're not the best. That's true. So I'm going to do a solo playthrough so I can get better, and honestly, just because the game is fun. I do have fun playing this game. I'm going to play as Wolfgang. I read a bit online. People were saying, you know, it's best to play this character or that character when you play solo. A lot of people saying Wicker Bottom is the way to go if you're going to be playing solo. Personally, uh, you know what? I'm not really into Wicker Bottom style. Sure, she might be OP and everybody sort of agrees. She's OP when it comes to playing solo, but I like to fight things. And everybody's saying Wolfgang's the way to go if you want to do that. And I've never played as Wolfgang. So I'm going to be the strong man. Little Wolfgang there. Get to pick a little outfit for them right now. Right now I've got this outfit on Wolfgang. He looks pretty good. I'm going to be real with you guys. He looks pretty good right now. So I think I'm going to keep Wolfgang in his cute little wrestler outfit. And let's create ourselves a new server. Let's go. All right. So that was quick. We're in now, so I guess first order of business, get enough stuff to build our first few things. We're going to need to get ourselves a axe and a pickaxe and all that stuff out of the way. So, a lot of people love this game, understandably. It's great. They're still updating the heck out of it. Uh, not as fast as I would like sometimes, uh, because it does seem like there was a, a huge gap between updates, and now they're just updating the heck out of it right now, which is super cool. Appreciate it. But, uh, there's big differences between this game and Don't Starve, and sometimes that can get confusing to people who, um, aren't really up to speed on what all those differences are. And a lot of people like to help out in the comments. They'll give us advice and tell us how to play a game, but, uh, sometimes they'll give us advice that's maybe it pertains to Don't Starve, not Don't Starve Together, and there, like I said, is a difference. So, uh, I guess what I'm trying to say with that is, if you guys want to give me little tips and tricks and comments down below, I'm going to appreciate the heck out of them. Y'all help out a lot. Just uh, be kind. Be polite when you do it, because sometimes people, they don't have the best tact when it comes to giving advice. They'll say something like, I don't mean to be rude, but... And then proceed to be very rude. But I know you guys are better than that, all right? So if you guys want to leave me some feedback down below in the comments, just give me those sweet tips so I can get better when we play together, all four of us, I would surely appreciate it. Just be nice, all right? And that's just good advice in general, guys. All right? Just be nice. If you ever wonder, should I say this thing? Chances are you probably shouldn't. So just don't say it. All right, I got myself an axe and a pickaxe, which means that I can get myself some stone. First order of business is going to be to find a place to set up camp, right? We're going to want a place to make our little base, get comfortable for the evening. I'm probably going to want a fire pit to do that, so if I can get my hands on 12 stone to make a fire pit, that'd be great. Otherwise, we'll just make ourselves a campfire, which is a little bit more temporary, but it'll do the job. I'm just going to explore around here a little bit, unlock some stuff. Grab some grass while I'm at it, too. So we can, you know, make some rope. Make a backpack. All that stuff. Make some, uh, chests and stuff. Science machine. Get all just, you know, settled down. In a place. And I haven't found any rocky biomes yet, so I think that I may just be stuck. Just building a campfire. And that's okay. I'll grab some berries. So apparently... With Wolfgang, Wolfgang's thing is, right now I'm in like, this isn't even Wolfgang's final form. I'm in like medium Wolfgang mode. If I get too hungry, I'll get kind of shrimpy, kind of weak, kind of like Captain America before he got like his super soldier serum, you know what I mean? Just just a scrawny little bean pole. But then if I get like totally bulked up with my food, ah, oh, that's, that's final form Wolfgang, and I'll get super strong. But here's the secret, Wolfgang. Afraid of the dark. So, uh, yeah, if I'm in the dark, then my sanity is going to go down real low. It's not a good thing. So that's kind of the balancing mechanic for Wolfgang. Real strong, loves to fight, afraid of the dark. Big strong men can also be afraid of the dark. Who's afraid of the dark, by the way? Anybody out there? Show of hands down in the comments. Raise your hand. Afraid of the dark still? 
Yeah. It could be spooky. I feel like it's an evolutionary holdback, you know? Hold over. We had to be afraid of the dark, right? Lots of scary, like, predators. Prowling in the dark, gonna... Sneak up on us. Get the drop on us while we're sleeping. Makes sense. Nothing to be ashamed about. You know? But chances are you're in a home. You're safe. Don't worry. Don't be afraid of the dark. I mean, it's understandable if you are. But you don't gotta be. It's alright. No lions out there gonna eat ya. Hopefully. I, I don't know what your situation is, actually. Maybe there is a lion that's out there gonna eat you. Maybe I should just... Be quiet right now. I don't know. Maybe you're out there with your laptop. I don't know. You've got some kind of wireless hotspot. You're on some, you know, like, safari right now watching this video. If so, hey, what are you doing watching my video? You're on safari. Uh, but thank you anyway. And watch out for that lion that's about to jump up from behind you. All right, I'm going to need to make myself a campfire soon. Looks like there's a, uh, okay, so there's a grassy biome right here. Cool, 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 cool. Still no rocks. Okay, yeah, let's set up our fire. Getting a little bit too close here. Oh, look at this. It's just like perfect little fire patch right here. Boom. Fire. Oh, and we actually do have our first rock right here. Two of them, actually. I'm going to have to mine that second one in the morning because nighttime's about to fall. And what did I say? Wolfgang, afraid of the dark. Going to have to stay out of that, buddy. While we're staying here, though, I'll go ahead and just throw another log on the Barbie. And... Let's cook some veggies tonight, because that's all I can really eat at the moment. Just some delicious cooked carrots. Mmm, that's good. Gonna eat that. Eat that up. I want to get scrawny bean pole form, okay? Want to eat that food. There we go. Gotta bulk up. These berries, too. Mmm. Cooked berries. Get them all cooked up there, buddy. All right. Eat them. Just choke them down. Oh, I'm mighty. Look at that. Oh, my head is gigantic. And my arms are swole. All right, there we go. I'm all 300. This is... See that? That's Wolfgang at 300, y'all. Just swole. Swole as heck. All right. Sun should rise any moment. We'll go finish getting ourselves some more rock. How's the map looking? Okay, started out down there. Now we're over here. Okay, and the sun has risen. Go mine. Oh, whoa. Okay, there was a crime here. A crime certainly happened. And the sad victim left me a pitchfork. Oh, no, a shovel. Fantastic. All right, one less thing to have to worry about. Oh, cool. We've got a stagehand right here. What's up, stagehand? We got ourselves a swamp biome right there. Cool, cool, cool. And some more grass and whatnot. I feel like, uh, what, we have 20 grass right now. I'm going to grab a few more. At a certain point, grass kind of becomes a pain to find, so I may as well just gather it right now while I'm here. And I'm just going to check this corner down here. Oh, what's up, Muffalo? Uh, All right. I was going to say, I want to see what's down here. Just unveil this little spot of the map. I wonder how far it goes. Pretty sizable little grass biome over here. Okay, there we go. Nice. Oh, hey, okay. Got ourselves a touchstone right there. Lots of poops right there, too. I'll pick up those poops on the way back. Oh, lots of muffalo poop. That'll be good for planting stuff a little bit later. Yo, what's up? What's up, guys? I'll be back to pick up your guys' poops on the reg. Just gonna go all the way to the bottom. I like to just make sure I check off all the map, you know? Oh, is this a rocky biome? Ah, it, oh, it's a fakey rocky biome. Likes to give me a, you know, false excitement there. Thinking I finally found some rocks. Nope. Don't think so, buddy. All right, I think 30 grass is probably good for now, right? I can come back for the rest of the grass. 30 grass is probably good. And let's just go around the border. So I can at least see where the map begins and ends. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. Look at this. There's a friggin' lunar island right here, off the coast. Whoa, that's nutty. That is nutty. All right. That is so close. I can just, like, build a bridge to it. I've never actually been to one of those in our, uh, co-op playthrough. Ash is the guy who likes to go explore those islands. I've never actually been yet. That's, uh, wow. Really close. 
Super convenient. All right. Glad we found that. Let's continue on our way, though. Yo, what up, bunny rabbits? Got lots of bunnies. Got lots of grass. Got That guy just pooped. That's some fresh, fresh dukes right there. I'll take that. Take that for you, buddy. Good job. Good job. Um, by the way, is this a rocky biome I see on the map right here? Did, no, 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 no. That was the swamp. That was the swamp. That's right. Okay. So there's the swamp. Maybe there's rocky up here above this grass. Lots of grass, man. Like more grass than forest biome right now. There's my pig friends right there. Yo, what's going on, pig guy? Good to see you. You doing you? More grass. My goodness. This world is just all grass. But what I need is some rocks. Some gold. Stuff like that. Not really getting any help in that department. Okay, so we've made it to the corner. The ah, here's the rock biome I can see right there. There's a big dumb bird nest right there. Some meteorites over there. All right, we got it now. We got it now. And there's that gold. All right. So probably going to need to stay the night over there tonight. And oh, oh, need to fill my belly again. Just shrunk down a little bit. All right. I was about to even say I need to start looking for some food, you know? So in researching Wolfgang and how to play Wolfgang, I, I did nominal research. I don't want you guys to think that I know, like, everything there is to know about Wolfgang. I certainly do not. But I do know enough to know that you just saw him kind of shrink down into his medium form right there. And uh, if you don't keep an eye on your hunger, say you're in battle, th that took a, a second or two where I just sort of stopped and I grabbed my stomach like, ooh, I'm shrinking. Uh, gonna have to be aware of that when I'm in battle because that could kind of like freeze you in your tracks and allow time for whatever monster might be chasing me to get the drop on me. So I'm, I'm gonna need to make sure that I'm really monitoring that hunger. And I guess there is a hunger belt that you can make eventually. That's gonna be later on. But uh, the hunger belt will help our uh, hunger drop at a slower rate. So I want to get that as soon as possible. But it'll be a minute. Alright, now that I finally got my rocks, lots of gold, I need to find a good place to set up camp. And I'm thinking maybe down this road a little bit, like you can see, like maybe right down here, sort of, there's a grass biome here, there's the, the rocks over here, swamp way over there, you know, that, Maybe around here wouldn't be such a bad idea for my first base. We'll, we'll try setting up there and see if that's good enough. We'll just see about that. I don't know. All right, some plain rocks here. Oh, there's just some straight up uh, gold just chilling on the ground over here. Just some regular old gold. I wonder where that came from. I wonder who dropped that. Some millionaire just dropping gold. It's not even a big deal. Speaking of gold, I'm going to need to make some gold pickaxes because that's my second pickaxe I just went through. Went through it, like, super quick. Okay, I've already got 33 stone, though. I feel like it's time for us to walk down south a little bit. I'm going to go down to these crossroads, build our first little campfire, or a fire pit, actually. Better than a campfire, a fire pit. I think I'm going to set her up right here, right in the middle of this little stone spot. And... I'm going to need a science machine, so I can build that right now. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to build our science machine right back here. There we go. And in my science machine, I was talking about making gold tools. I'm going to want to do that soon. Um, oh, I'm going to need the alchemy engine in order to do that, so that'll be a second. And I want to make, let's see, what is the backpack under? I can never remember if it's survival or if it's dress. I think it's survival, because I'm going to want to make a backpack here soon. There we go. Backpack. Perfect. There we go. Now I can actually carry more things and refine some stuff. I'm going to need me some ropes. I'm going to refine some of that right now. There we go. I'm going to need a weapon here soon, so probably go to the fight tab. Make ourselves a spear. There we go. Now we can fight some things. Uh, I'm going to cook me up some berries. Unfortunately, that's the only berry that I have to eat right now. Oh, you know what I didn't do yesterday is I chop, chop down wood. I'm gonna need some wood for my fire. I was so interested in picking up grass and looking for rocks. There we go. Keep that stoked. And 
Let's see, as far as stuff that we can make... Okay, I can make my pitchfork, I can make my razor. I don't need to make those things right now. I'm gonna go ahead and just make myself another one of you right now. Uh, let's see, I can make myself an endothermic fire. I don't need to do that. And in here, I can make myself a... I can make myself a straw roll. I don't need to do that yet either. And of course, I can refine and I can make cut stone. I don't need to do that. Alchemy engine, though. We're going to want to make that next. It's going to be... Oh, actually, you know what? I do need to make cut stone. I take that back. I'm going to make two cut stone. There we go. Because I am going to need to make a doodad as well. That's going to be science. I think it's just one doodad. And then, finally, we're going to need... No, two doodads. Never mind. Take that back. And lastly, we're going to need... Wait, did I not just make the two cut stone? I swear I did. Am I... Wait... What? I could have sworn I just made two cut stone. Oh, I needed them for the doodads. Dadoy. Okay. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Uh, and then lastly, we need a couple wards. All right. So I'm going to need to cut down some wood. And then we're going to need to go find some food, too. I need to make myself a cook pot here soon. Make myself a refrigerator. Just get the base set up. The base basics, if you will. That's what this first episode will be about. Just getting our base down. I feel like that's probably a smart thing to do. You know, probably a good way to start things. Make sure I have a place to come home to. And then we can just start to build off of that. Okay, good thing I found the shovel. Dig up these stumps here. And it's kind of weird that these trees haven't dropped any pine cones. Huh. It's kind of interesting. I want to make sure I'm planting these trees or replanting them, you know? So I can try to not piss off the tree gods who will come and try to kill me. And honestly, I ain't even sweating it because the tree guys, they're not that big a deal. I can take them out. And you can tell them I said that. Okay, so our boards. How many did we need? Three or four? I think three. And boom, and nope, it was four. Four was the magic number. Just need one more tree. Probably a couple more trees, actually, because I'm going to need fire for tonight as well. Now, there we go, and board it up. There we go. Alchemy engine, which means that I can just go ahead and tear this thing apart. I'm not going to need it. There we go, put the alchemy engine there. Can I make myself a hammer? Yes, I can. Hammer's made, and... Where did the hammer go? Hammer, hammer, hammer. Oh, that's right. It looks like... A crowbar. Okay. So, next thing I'm going to want to do is a crock pot, and then we're going to want to get some food. So, the crock pot... I, I know it's going to take charcoal, right? It's going to take charcoal, it's going to take sticks, it's going to take cut stones. So let's go ahead, go up north one more time. I'm going to go get some rocks. And, oh, you know what? Before I get rocks, let's go ahead and make a torch. And I can start torching some trees. So I can come back and get some charcoal. Okay, that should be enough charcoal, I think. Okay, back to the rocks. Yo, what's up, Mr. Mole? I'm gonna let that mole be. I don't need to beat him up just yet. Just don't eat my stuff, Mr. Mole, okay? I need that niter. It's mine. Go away. It's not your niter. It's mine. I found it. Yeah, I'm gonna need some food here soon. I'm gonna shrink to my shrimpy form here in a moment. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna go. We're gonna go on the hunt. See what kind of foods we can find. I'm gonna need some filler. I'm gonna need some uh, some meat. Start making all the good things. All right. So, get my spear ready. All right, let's go find us some food. Let's go shake down some food. Oh, there's another gold nugget just sitting here. Hello, nugget. Here we go. And okay, it's evening time right now. Got some time before the sun goes down. I'm not gonna panic. We got some berries as well. Gonna grab these berries. Berries make good filler. Oh, what's up, turkey? 
I would have tried to take out the turkey, but the turkey's too fast. I'll end up chasing that all day. Come on. I need some animals that are going to provide me with meat. Something. Come on. Lots of tombstones and stuff. Another piece of gold just chilling. Someone's just leaving gold all over. Is that another one? All right. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, I've shrunk. I'm in my shrimpiest of forms. It's not good. I don't know where all this gold's coming from. I've never really noticed gold just sitting around like that. Some of you guys in the comments, I'm sure you're going to tell me exactly why that gold's there. But me, I just don't know. I just don't know, y'all. Okay, get me some more berries, because if I can't find meat to cook, at least I got some berries. There's a puffin in the water, but it's in the water. Can't get to it. Okay, maybe over on this side. Just maybe. Oh, there's a little isthmus here. Okay, I'm going to want to turn around here soon. It's getting nighttime. Getting spooky. Sun's going to go down soon. Got myself a carrot right here. Okay, I guess I'm just going to have to subsist on uh, veggies for one more evening. I can catch some uh, rabbits in the grassy biome. And that's what I'll do tomorrow. I'm going to need to get some grass to make some traps. Which means that I'm going to need some sticks if I'm going to want to make those traps. How many sticks do I got? Nine at the moment. Okay, I'm going to need more than that. But for now, we'll make it work. I've got some berries and I've got a carrot. Which I can eat tonight. It's not a great meal. By any means, but it'll tide me over. Get back to my fire. Okay, I got a couple logs. Throw on here. You know, I'm just going to cook these up real quick. There we go. A simple meal of... Some cooked berries and carrots. I don't think those go well together. I personally wouldn't eat berries and carrots. But, you know, who knows? There's a lot of things I wouldn't eat. Then I eat them. And then I'm like, oh, geez, yeah, this is really good. I was foolish for not eating this before. Got me some coal. And some more coal. And some more. There we go. Then I need the cut stone, which I was talking about before. And charcoal and... Oh, jeez. What was the third thing? There was a third thing. Oh, jeez. This is getting dark. Grab it. Go, 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 go. Oh, I have a torch. There we go. All right. Eat my carrot. Eat my berries. Okay. So the third thing was... Oh, the sticks. I've got that. Perfect. Okay. Let's go ahead and make our cut stones real quick. Uno. Dose. Trace. Perfect. Uh, and let's make our cook pot. It's called a crock pot. I always call it a cook pot. Crock pot, obviously. All right. Crock pot right here. Wunderbar. All right. In the morning, I'll set up some traps. As a matter of fact, I can just grab this grass right here. It's within range. Set up some traps in the morning. Get us some meat. What is it for traps? Is that under food as well, or is that survival? I can never remember. Must be under survival. All right, trap right here. Perfect. I can do. Okay, I can only do two at the moment. That's fine. Two to start. Put down a trap right here. And... Perfect, trap right here. I think two's a fine start. Okay, so now that I got my food kind of set up... At least I've got an area right here to harvest some uh, some bunny rabbits. We need to go get some filler. And I guess start planning for our first big fight, which isn't going to happen until day 30. But uh, that's going to be the deer clops. Going to need to start planning for it. Make us some stuff. Make us like some, uh, some armor, some weapons. You know, maybe a bird cage. Start making some gunpowder to blow the thing up. And planning for winter as well. Because winter is 17 days away. And I can't eat the seeds. There we go. I'm gonna at, at a certain point I'm gonna wanna keep some of those seeds, but I can't eat some of them right now. And I was just talking about bird cage. I'm gonna if I'm gonna make a bird cage, I'm gonna need some reeds. So it's a good thing that we've got this uh swamp area 
is I can go look for some reeds. And what's kind of cool about the swamp area is, I mean, it's very dangerous because those tentacles are everywhere. But I can find free meat here, oftentimes, because the fishmen will get to fight with the tentacles, and the spiders will get into fights with the tentacles. So as long as I don't stop to also get into a fight with the tentacle, I should be okay. And we've actually got some spideys right over here. The tentacle right here. Let's see if I can draw them into a fight with this tentacle. Maybe. Just maybe. No, come out and play. Come out and play. I mean, I can always fight them, you know? Oh, okay, 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 guys. Just settle down, y'all. Okay, here we go. Tentacle time. There we go. Mess him up. Mess up that. Yep. Boom. Okay. Perfect. Grab you. And I'll take this reed. So I've got me some monster meats. Now, obviously, I can't eat the monster meat in its current form. That'll be bad for me. Ooh. Belly's empty. All right. But I can't cook it and use it in my crock pot. Just gonna do a little bit more searching around to grab some more reeds. I'm gonna wanna make paper to make my bird cage. And then I wanna make a bird trap, obviously. Start getting some eggs from these monster meats. I look so sad in my small form. Such a sad little guy. Look at me. Look at me. I'm sunken eyes. Pathetic mustache. All right, the mustache isn't that pathetic. That was that was a little harsh. Okay, how many reasons have I got? I've got nine. Um, feel like I should get a few more just to be safe. Can't remember if it takes two or three to make a paper. But while I'm here, I mean, I might as well just grab them. Grab them if you got them. And I'm actually surprised I didn't see more fights in here. Like, typically, you'll come into the uh, swamp and you'll come across, like, fishmen, fighting tentacles, fighting spiders, and there's, like, a three-way brawl going on. It's like a cage match with fishmen and spiders and tentacles. But it seems to be pretty chill right now. Okay, here's a rundown house, so maybe there's some fishmen around here. Oh, you know what? I think they come out at evening? Maybe. I got some... You know, I got some pigs here, and I did make a hammer, right? So, here, I'm gonna knock these down. Because I can get some pig skin from it. Nice. And nighttime is coming. Oh, that tentacle's gonna mess up this spider. Boom. Yes, mess him up. This is what I'm talking about. Give me that free stuff. Yes, perfect. Okay. Now I'm just going to let that tentacle go ahead and go back to its normal programming. There we go. Perfect. Got me some meat. I need some filler. Before I get home. What is that sound? Like, it's not quite a dog. Oh, look at this over here. All right, perfect. There's a bunch of free food here. Oh, which means that there's a tentacle. I was gonna I was about to say, wait a minute. Wait a minute, there's gotta be a tentacle nearby. Okay. Okay, you know what? You can have that meat. You can have it. Take it. I don't need it. It's yours. Oh, and look at this! Boom! Found me and Chester! Me and Chester, BFF. Come on, Chester! Alright. That's right, guys. First episode, and I've already got myself a Chester. Oh, this is amazing. This is good stuff. You guys are good luck. I like you guys. Watching this video, giving me good luck. You guys can come back anytime. Uh, all right, now where is it that I put my campsite? It's over here, right? I think it's a little bit farther over. And I still don't have myself any filler. Did I catch any bunny rabbits, though? Today? That trap? No. Empty. This trap? Yes! Caught one bunny. All right. So at least we can cook up some bunny meat tonight. Put you right there. And... Oh, shoot. Do I have any wood? I don't think I do. I need to chop down some trees. Oh, come on. Axe. I gotta make some gold tools. They break too damn easy. 
I don't know who taught you how to make axes, but they were bad at their job. There we go. No rhyme or reason. Just plop them down. Uh, let's see. Um, wood. Go cook it up. And where's my bunny? Oh, I gotta actually gotta murder my bunny, I think. Where are you? There you are. Sorry about this little guy. Had to do it. Pick you up. Eat you up. There we go. I got a little bit of food. It's not much, obviously. Now I gotta find me some filler. And I know, I know, I know night is about to fall, but I was just wondering, maybe, just maybe, there's a little bit of filler, filler around here somewhere, but there's not. Managed to find myself a seed. Which is not filler. Oh, and now it's raining. Cool. All right. Got myself a couple seeds. Got myself some rain. Okay, I'm just gonna pop these in my belly real quick. And as far as the rain goes, uh, what is it to make an umbrella? I can make myself a hat, actually. Right? Make a straw hat. There we go. I have exactly enough to make a straw hat. There we go. Keep me a little bit protected from the elements. And I, in the morning, I gotta find some food. But you know what? That's where we're gonna wrap up this first episode of Don't Start Together, Wolfgang Solo Edition, you guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you guys have tips for me, like I said at the beginning, um, kindly, emphasis on kindly, leave them down below. Uh, I'm going to be reading them, all right? I'm probably going to record like three episodes. So if I don't get back to you in the next episode or the episode after that, don't feel bad. It's because I'm recording this in a little bit of a block. Uh, so keep that in mind. But yeah, let me know... Um, what you think would be good advice for the future of my Wolfgang playthrough. Uh, and, of course, come back next time. I'll see you guys then.